el día de hoy tengo el gran honor de encontrarme en compañía de un fabuloso actor, Gary Butler, quien nos trae Playing for Kids. How are you, Gary? I'm great. It's Can I nice call you be. Gary? Um, you can call me Gary, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that how you say it in Spanish? No, how do you say it? Your I name. don't know. Uh, I'm asking Gary. how you say it in Spanish. You say Gary? Get, no, Jerry. No, Jerry is Jerry. No. Right. But it's, oh, but, so friends. why are you calling me Gary then? I, 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 read, I read that your friends and everybody tell you Gary because it's easier than Jerry. No, Jerry. They Jerry. say Jerry. Ah, yeah, no, Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Can I call you Jerry? You can call me Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Who's the new soccer coach? Stacy's ex, the soccer player. Do five, ten minutes a day passing the ball with a brother or a sister. Yeah. Well, congratulations for this movie. Thank you. You, you are a player, you're a good looking guy, you're a soccer guy, you do everything in this movie, right? Definitely a player. I like that ah. description. I, that's a, I like the double meaning, yeah. <laughs> you were a great, great player. Dreyer with a shot. So what are you doing with your time now, post-soccer? And now for CSA Sports, on a last-second penalty kick today. This is your credit card company. Do you think that in order to be successful in life, you have to choose between family and your work? To be successful in one? That's, that's actually a very good question, because I, I hate to say this, but I feel that one of the things that helped me get ahead very quickly was being single a lot of the time and being able to say I'm going here, I'm going there and, and, and being able to, to put all my time into working and training and, and just doing all of that. But at the same time, I also know a lot of people who've had incredible success, who've been married the whole time or in relationships and, and, and there's definitely something more stable about about those people. So I think you can do it either way. It's you know, different. I'm Denise. Have we met before? Not that I remember. You're a sportscaster on TV. I was. ESPN are looking to expand their soccer coverage. I got that audition as a sportscaster. Dad, please don't leave. I know that you're a huge fan of uh, the Glasgow Celtic Football Club. You play against Manchester. So are you a good guy with sports? You like sports? I like sports. Yeah, I do. I, when I was younger, I played so many sports. It's all I did. You know, it, it was hard to get me to, to sit and study because I always wanted to be doing something. For Chasing Mavericks, I just took up surfing, which I loved. Um, and now I don't play soccer so much. So I played for the movie, but it was great to, to rediscover that. And the two maybe best moments of my life were playing for Celtic against Manchester United. And then I played at Manchester United's ground, and it was England against the rest of the world. So I just did that in front of 75,000 people. And it was so exciting. I, I think soccer players are the, the luckiest guys on the planet. You reckon you can handle this thing? Are you serious? Awesome! Awesome! How similar are your fans in real life and the soccer moms on the movie? <laughs> <laughs> exactly the same. No, I mean, fans are different. You know, there's people that'll walk past you in the street and just go, love your movies. And then there are people who go crazy and they want to, like, run after you and, and, and make a big deal of it. And it's like that with people. It's like, I, I, so, but, but I definitely come across, come across people like that. And, and that's why this is funny. We take the most extreme <laughs> cases that in a, in a community like that, there's a lot of soccer moms who are completely normal, <laughs> of course, live a happily married life, yeah, yeah. and would just say, there's the soccer coach. Then there's the ones who are frustrated, kind of horny, and they're like, ooh, <laughs> who's the guy, you know? Oh, ex-soccer star? Let's, uh, let's see where we can go with that. <laughs> Could you please invite everybody to go and see Playing for Keeps? Hey, I'm Gerard Butler, and I'm inviting you to go and see Playing for Keeps. You have a great time. Thank you so much. Thank you.